many of you need God here with you? You lay down your will. You lay down your will for his, just to keep him there with you. See, you know, we beg everybody. You know, sister, sometimes we... Come on now. Yeah. We be begging these men to stay with us. But the only man you need to beg to stay with you is Jesus. Come on, somebody. Come on. I'm serious. The only man you need to beg. And you know what? You don't really have to beg him. All you have to do is ask him. He'll stay willingly. Oh, I wish I had a church this morning. I need God to stay with me. Because if he don't stay with me, I'm going to mess up. Amen. I'm going to do something that I don't have no business doing. So I need him to stay with me. But let me, how, let me tell you how to get him to stay with you. You invite him in. Amen. He, he say, I stand at the door and knock. I'm knocking. I'm knocking. I'm knocking. And some of you all hear God, but you ignoring him. Yeah, you're ignoring him, but he's not going to beg you. He's not going to beg you. He begged Israel. He tried that. He begged Israel for 400 years to serve him. He's not begging anymore. You just all lay it all down and just tell God, I need you. I need you to stay with me. And then another reason, another chance how you get God to stay with you is you talk to him. You invite him in and you talk to him. The Bible says when you lay down at night, you talk about the word. Sometimes, Carol, I lay down at night and me and God, we're having a conversation. And I fall, my body falls asleep. But my spirit never sleeps because that is the part that he and I are made in his image. He, we, he's spirit. So he, when he said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness, that's, 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 our, that's our way that we commune with God. So sometimes I wake up. And I'm just having, uh, I'm just, God is talking to me. And I'm, I say, I told Bishop, I say, I say, sometimes I wake up and we're just, I'm having this conversation with God. And it's like me and him been together all night long all night long and then I'm wake up and he's giving me a download have you ever got a come on now have you ever got a download from God he gives me a download and it's such a beautiful relationship that God and I have together brothers and sisters that's the kind of relationship that God wants to have with you, where he stays with you 24-7. Amen? Oh, y'all don't want to get me with me this morning, but I'm just so happy that God will stay with me. He'll stay with me. He'll stay with me when I'm, he'll stay with me when I'm troubled. He'll stay with me when I'm feeling good he'll stay with me when I'm on the mountain sister Beasley but he'll stay with me when I'm in valleys amen and somebody told me the other day I was talking to somebody and um, she told me the other day she said Pastor Cheryl you alright I said no I ain't alright <laughs> I said we we got to write another check for $400,000. And when you see that bank account going down, no, I ain't all right. I'm just, I just have to be honest. I'm, I'm not all right. And she say, well, it shows on your face. I say, yeah, if you had this weight on you, it would show on your face too. See, let me tell you something. It is easy when you don't have to look at it. You know, you, you don't have to look at it. But that's why I need God to stay with me. Because I'm not lying, but y'all, this is, this, you talking about a faith walk. You talking about a faith walk. When he told you, he told Bishop, don't go to no bank. I'm going to provide for you. 
But see, my relationship with God is I know God. And I know God does not do things the way Cheryl wants him to do it. He going to make Cheryl wait. He probably going to take Cheryl to the edge. And he's probably going to take Cheryl to the last minute. And he's probably going to come through at the last minute. But the thing that Cheryl knows is he's going to come through. I don't like that he I don't like that he waits till the last minute. I don't like how God does things. But all I know, Alicia, you look so beautiful this morning. All I know, Alicia, is that he's going to do it. Amen. He's going to do it, people. Can we say he's going to do it? He's going to do it. He's going to do it. And I and you know why I know God is going to do it? Because God knows me. He knows that I get anxious. <laughs> he knows the things that I'm good at. And he knows the things that I'm not good at. He knows I'm not good at going through this process that we're going through. Oh, he know that. He know that before he called me. He knew that before he found me in this little lady's womb. He knew that. But that's not going to change how he's going to do it. That's not going to change his personality. That's not going to move him to do anything quick. Because he's God all by himself. And he rules all by himself. And that's one thing that I love about God. He ain't going to get in a hurry for me. He ain't going to get in a hurry for you. He's going to do it in his time. So let's praise God for doing it in his time. And I know he's going to do it because every time I get in my car, there's a song about believing. Amen. Gene Jr. has a song, I Believe. And y'all, I'm not lying. Now, we know Gene Jr. Every time I get in my car all this week, that song has been playing on Sirius Radio. That is God's way of telling me, girl, it's going to be all right. You just got to believe me. Amen. So let's give the Lord a hand clap for just being with us and just sending us messages that it's going to be all right. Heavenly Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for staying with us. Some of us need to pay the cost. Oh, God, what is the cost of you being with us? One of the costs, we got to let some things go. We got to let some people go. We got to let some relationships go. We got to let that man go that we sleep with and ain't married to. We got to let that woman go that we sleep with and ain't married to. Some things we got to let go, God. We got to let go of these lying friends and these worldly friends that give us our worldly opinions. Their worldly opinions help us to let those things go and cleave to you, Father. Cleave to you like you, you are, uh, we're desperate for you. I know I am, God. You've been so good to us, God. You've been so good. You allowed us to save $1.5 million, although it's not enough, God. But you did. And God, you're so wonderful. But you, I read the other day that everything belongs to you. Everything belongs to you. All the gold, the silver, the copper, the iron, the bronze, the the pearls the rubies the sapphire everything belongs to you because you made it the land belongs to you God that's why we can't say that America belongs to somebody no America belongs to you because you made the land and you can make some more land see if man can make some more land then it belongs to man but man can't make no land so it don't belong to him God thank you as our bank account windows down, God, you're going to stay with us. You're going to stay with us. You promised that you would never leave us, nor will you forsake us. And so, Father, we thank you that every need going to be met. We are progressing, Father. But so, Father, we thank you in advance that every need going to be met. You already got that person or those persons, Father 
whom you're going to open up their hearts, dear God. And you're going to send that money. You're going to cause everything to work for our good. So, Father, we thank you in advance in Jesus' name. Let's give Bishop a hand clap as he comes. Amen, 